Hi there everybody, Peter of England. This is the first video of 2024 and there's going to be many more of them, I am sure. But today what I want to do is alert you to something that is of the utmost importance and I cannot stress it for you enough that this year, 2024, is going to be extremely turbulent and disruptive. And no matter where you are in the world, it's going to have the same uh, underlying scenarios. So what that means for you is that you've got to take some sort of action. And by action, I'm only asking those people who see the problems awaiting them further down the road to take some form of action. Uh, that form of action, I would suggest as, a, as a, a beginning, is for you to look at this on area52.life. This is what's called the Declaration of Divorce. For members, it's free, and for people who are not members, then a small uh, fee has to be paid to download it. Now, what's new about this, and this I'm encouraging all people who have already become uh, registered on the Area52.life site, and there are hundreds of you, there are hundreds of you that have gone on and registered but taken no action. So, for, for all intents and purposes, you're just names on a list. And this doesn't afford you any protection, whether it's for your family or for traveling or for what we want to help you with in the future. So, I can't stress it enough, you need to go and do something. Area 52 has been created for you. It has been created via divine mandate. This isn't just another uh, a fiction or a folly or a, an imaginary um, uh, place that you can seek some type of amusement. It's serious and it's real and so we need you to go there. So what's different now for all those who are members and haven't so far um, downloaded the, the, um, the PDF, what we've now got is a digital notarization service. As I promised, it was coming. It's taken a little bit longer than uh, I expected because of some glitches. But now you can go onto the area52.life site, go into digital notarization or notary services, and you can fill in the, um, if you're a member, you can for free fill in the document. It will be then digitally notarized. It asks you to upload a signature, and if you can do that, then that's fine. And if you can't, then we can find a way for you around that when you've off uh, downloaded it and printed it off. Um, so from that point then, the document gets completed online, it gets digitally notarized, and it has a QR code on it. And what we're doing is using their technology, a quick reaction code, we're using their technology against them. And why it's important, once that QR code is downloaded onto your phone or, or uh, iPad or notepad, wherever you have it, you can easily transfer it to the investigating government agent or official that wants to know, well, what's all this about? You know, you say you are not part of our system. Uh, can you give us any, any proof or, or idea of? So that's why we've put it there. It can travel through departments. It can travel uh, with ease. And it is very, very simple for you then to not have to carry uh, a swathe of documents around with you. Um, and show that certain things have been, uh, have been completed or designed uh, in a particular way. What you have now is you have it on a QR. Why that's important going forward is, as you can see in the world, it is becoming more and more tyrannical. The police state has already arrived. Don't wait for it. It's already here. And what you have is privateer pirate corporations passing themselves off as private, limited companies, but they are in effect oligarchical control corporatocracy that is nothing more than government in the guise of private companies. And the reason for that is all the top CEOs and the boards of directors are all juiced in to the government, um, the government money go round. And that is evidenced at the moment because we can see things are getting worse. Um, economically, there has to be war. 
There, have to be, there has to be war and destruction to trash the scene of the crime. The pension funds have been raided. All value has been sucked clean out of the markets and out of your energy. And you can see that the world is winding down now. And so what they have always done, these political elite, the banking aristocracy, have always, without fail, when it gets to the point where the train is about to hit the buffers, they always create war. It's called negative cap capacitance, and this is to discharge the system of the energy. So that's what's on its way. There is war potential on every foot. You have the potential of civil war in many countries. You've got the ridiculous scenarios of the Suez Canal being closed because uh, a bunch of bow and arrow wielding Houthis um, are supposedly causing problems for the world's great superpower, the United States plus NATO, um, it just doesn't bear thinking about the degree of stupidity that they are throwing out there. Most of it is produced by AI components, and what it's doing is it's confusing you and having you stretched four ways from Sunday. In every direction, there's something coming at you, whether it's ill health, whether it's food shortages, whether it is compliance uh, for, for ULEZ or uh, ultra low emission zone cameras, or you're being fined, you're being penalized, you're being taxed on, don't forget this, victimless crime, which is nothing more than statutory instruments introduced into a parliamentary assembly, which you did not agree to. So when you start to say, oh, but we're in a democracy, we can only change it through the ballot box. No, my friends, you cannot. You cannot argue, negotiate, deal, pray, or do anything else, uh, or reason with tyranny. It is what it is, and the agenda is much larger than you. So if you don't come together in a particular uh, um, point of the head of an arrow method or ideology, then you're just going to get trampled into the ground by the tyrannous police state Orwellian jackboot, which went on your throat. It doesn't really matter whether it's left or right of the political divide. It's still the same result. So this is what I'm encouraging you now to do. You must take action. Go to the area52.life website and begin, just begin the trail which was, is going to empower you because unless you make a claim, unless you create a controversy, then there is nothing more that can be done. But once you do make it, you change completely the energy fields within the quantum field, the universe, and miracles can happen. But where else can you go to do this? I don't know of anywhere. And so you've got a, a, a major, major uh, um, faux pas, a, a major disconnect here. Um, on the one hand, uh, you'll look at the financial markets and, and people tell you everything's going fine uh, since October the 29th to now, February the 1st or 2nd, the Dow has had a meteoric, straight, almost vertical rise. It's done just over, I think, as of probably today, a 20% rise in three months when the world's going to hell in a handbasket. How can that be? Quantitative easing for 20 years as a juicing in payback for all the, the political elite and those who've got their noses in the trough to keep the game going but they'll be sacrificed with all the politicians in the end because the game players, the controllers, the puppet masters in the background, the ones that even control the banks, are desirous of a particular type of payoff, which we can go into in, uh, in other videos. So if you want to try and protect yourself, if you want to be able to try and, uh, and travel freely, what we've got to begin to do is put together a series of pitons in this mountain we're going to climb. It's not particularly easy, but then again, it's simple. Okay, 
So don't confuse those two things, you know. Becoming an enlightened like Jesus uh, or Buddha isn't, uh, isn't easy, but the steps are quite simple to follow. So you're, you've got to, and I say I have to keep emphasizing this, today is the day you do it. Get off your ass, get off the settee, go to area52.life because it is sanctioned by, it is mandated, it is a gift, it's a cado, it's a geschenk, it's, these are words to impress upon you that it is a gift from the hierarchy. If you believe in God, fine. If you don't believe in God, fine. Just do it. It's something that can and will change your life. So this is what you need to do now. Um, for example, um, we begin with a statutory declaration. For those people in the United Kingdom, you can refer to what's called the Statutory Declarations Act. I think it's 1835. Okay, if you go on the government website now and look at that, it's only seemingly available for declaration for transgender. However, historically, before, you could walk into any court and make a statutory declaration for uh, reasons of uh, confusion or mistaken identity, uh, name, not being in the right place at the right time, someone else driving your car, you weren't doing this, etc., etc. You are not the person that they thought you were. So that's the statutory declaration. And it says quite categorically under the Statutory Declarations Act of 1835, which certainly wasn't considering transgender issues, that you can go in front of a justice of the peace or a magistrate, pay £27 and make your statutory declaration. So what I would suggest to all the people out there who've been refused, yeah, the first part, the statutory declaration by going to a notary or the courts and the clerk or the usher saying, sorry, we don't do that anymore. You can't come in here. No, we don't do that. Or you've got to have a video meeting. Fuck that. Take no notice. Go in and say you want to affirm your gender. So all you do then is you have your statement ready. You go in and basically, if you're a man, affirm that you're a man. If you're a woman, affirm that you're a woman. And if you're something else, affirm that you don't know or whatever you want to choose. But that gets you through the door so you can make the statutory declaration. Once we've done the statutory declaration, you've got a statement there that this is the last time you will ever appear in a straw man statutory um, obeyance to the three papal bulls, Unum Sanctum, uh, Romanus Pontiflex, and Aterius Regis. And from then on, we start our ascent, our climb. So from that point on, you'll have the statutory declaration. You will then have the declaration of divorce. And then the next part is I'm going to prepare travel documents for you because you will then all be um, brought in as citizens of a area that is beyond the sea, beyond their control, beyond their land, which they will not be able to touch you in. And this takes part with a change of mind. Don't get yourself into intellectual ego-based um, resolutions that are just circles turning within circles confusing you by saying oh it can't be done don't everybody's tried it before we have it different believe you me so those are your your points of action now go to area52.life look at the website Become a member if you are one of those that have only registered. And if you don't want to become a member, do yourself a favor. If you do leave this planet without having woken up ever so slightly to the manifestation of the game and the plan behind it, then unfortunately you're going to have to take grade school again and it's all going to get a little bit nastier further down the line. If you think it's difficult now, the future, if it existed, uh, will be even more difficult. And for all of those who have already become members, um, maybe you've already downloaded the declaration, you can go on now and you only get one go at this because it's a unique document with the QR code which will be then available for you to send to whoever you wish. Then that's the unique document. You can go onto the site and do it. So thank you for listening. Pass this on. 
2024 leading into 2025 is a WF, WEF, WHO, big time Bank of International Settlements, uh, a World Bank, IMF agenda crosshairs. And they're coming after you all. Um, they're already here. They're already lying in wait. And so as the turbulence increases, you can expect um, a lot of surprises. So I'm just trying to prepare you for this day of reckoning. And I'd rather you be on our side than be buried into the ground on theirs. So Peter of England saying thank you very much.